Hi everybody, welcome to you in Polter Extension channel of Engineer Rafat Khatar. Today, we are going to talk about an important bacterial disease of poultry. That's why diarrhea disease or bullorum disease of poultry. This disease affects young chicks mainly at early age from 3 to 7 days, causing high mortality. Also, it affects adult chickens causing high economic losses. This video contains etiology, hosts, incubation period, transmission, clinical signs, gross lesions, prevention and treatment. It is a bacterial disease affects young chicks causing high mortality. While the chicks that didn't die become carriers of the disease and the microbe remains latent in the ovary until it activates and is excreted with eggs upon sexual maturity. Etiology The causative agent is a bacterium Salmonella bellorum, which is not mobile bacilli due to not having flagella. This microbe is resistant to environmental change as it remains alive in rotting corpses and a deep dump later for long months. Hostess Chickens, pheasants, and turkey, while ducks, geese, and pigeons are resistant to the microbe, but they are carriers of it. Incubation period. It varies from 3 to 5 days. Transmission. This microbe is transmitted vertically from carrier breeder hens to hatch the chicks through their eggs. Also, this microbe is transmitted via air and the hatcheries. Also, this microbe is transmitted via feed and water contaminated with it. Also, this microbe is transmitted via eggshells contaminated with it. Also, this microbe can be transmitted during sex sexing via workers' hands contaminated with it. Also, this microbe can be transmitted by the device of the beaking chicks. Also, this microbe can be transmitted by infected sparrows which eat from feed chicks. Also, this microbe can be transmitted via workers' shoes, feeders, drinkers, nests and gas cylinders used for heating. Clinical signs In young chicks, if the chicks are hatched from infected eggs, Signs appear clearly, and mortality increases at the age of 3 to 7 days. If the infection was after hatching, signs will appear and mortality will increase at the age of 7 to 14 days. The following signs will appear on the affected chicks. 1. Chicks manifest somnolence, weakness and loss of appetite. 2. Chicks exhibit lassitude an inclination to huddle together under the hovers. 3. Ruffled feathers, drooping of wings and difficulty of movement. 4. White greenish diarrhea with white excretions of uric acid salts. 5. Pested cloaks with white diarrhea. 6. Mortality varies from 20 to 70% according to the severity and the timing of the infection and efficiency of the treatment. 2. In adult chickens. Adult chickens don't manifest clear signs and the mortality is limited because the infection is latent. But in case of severe infection, some signs may appear such as 1. Variable degrees of reduction in egg production. 2. Reduction in fertility and hatchability. 3. Severe diarrhea in affected chickens. 4. Fever in infected chickens. Gross lesions. 1. And chicks. 1. Liver enlargement and this color to dark. 2. Spleen enlargement to twice its size. 3. Ureters enlargement and distended with white urate salts. 4. The sick may filled with white cheesy materials. 5. There are grey nodules on the lungs. 6. 
intestine inflammation to in adult chickens. The liver and spleen are enlarged and turn its color to yellowish green with necrotic dots on them. Two, necrotic dots on the heart and lungs. Three, severe inflammations of the ovary which have misshaped eruptive and atrophic follicles. Four, intestinal inflammation with necrotic dots on the internal surface of the intestinal wall. Five, some ascites cases may appear as a result of liver infection. Prevention. For preventing Berloram disease, we should carry out the following preventive procedures in breeders' farms and hatcheries. Firstly, in breeders' farms. 1. Different types of poultry should not be raised on the same farm. 2. Different ages of one type of chickens should not be raised on the same farm. 3. We should prevent hatched egg shells contamination by providing breeder houses with suitable number of nests which contain adequate amount of straw. 4. We should fumigate the produced eggs from each farm at the end of the day with formaldehyde gas for an hour at least by either mixing 40 cubic centimeter formalin with 20 gram potassium permanganate per cubic meter of the fumigation chamber volume or burning paraformaldehyde tablets at the rate of 2 gram per cubic meter of the fumigation chamber volume. 5. We should do white diarrhea test which is called Salmonella bullorum test for maternal flock at 22-22 weeks to ensure that the chickens are free from Salmonella bullorum. Secondly, and the hatchery. 1. Fumigating hatched eggs upon arrival at the hatchery immediately. 2. Fumigating hatchery before and after entering eggs. 3. Incubating each egg source in a special incubators. 4. Complete separation between incubators and hatchers. Treatment. We can use any one of the intestinal antibiotics such as Numycin 20% or ampicillin 20% or oxytetracycline 20% or chlortetracycline 20% as the rate of 1 gram per liter of water plus vitamin A3E at the rate of 3,000 to 5,000 units per bed daily for 3 to 5 consecutive days. Finally, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press subscribe, like and share. If you have any inquiry related to this video, please comment and I will reply with suitable answer. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.